of Rob. Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe. And today we are taking a look at the DC Collectibles Killer Croc that I received from ODC, that's me. I finally got around to reviewing him. And more importantly because I was waiting for his arms to dry. As I do a little, uh, rock on! So, <laughs> uh, I received this from OCD, that's me. Um, a while back, I want to say I'm probably pushing almost two months, so I'm sorry I've been really busy lately trying to uh, uh, get some other things done around the house and all that different type of stuff. And I was waiting for the arms to officially dry, and um, I was contemplating doing some different type of uh, ways to put his arms back together. Um, I'm going to put the uh, link down here below where ODC first reviewed this figure and uh, he reviewed him after he got him out of package and uh, this arm was broken off if I remember correctly. Actually I think it might have been this was the first arm. I'd have to go back and look. It's been a little while. So uh, he had said you know PM me if anybody wants this. He contacted uh, uh, DC Collectibles and uh, they were going to send him a new figure so he said well I don't need two of them and I don't really need the broken figure so I PM'd him and uh, he just charged me for shipping so I got the figure so as I was starting to work on deciding if I was gonna put a screw in this arm and just kinda of playing around with the figure seeing how I wanted to attach it this arm broke off so uh, I had the same experience he did where I was like oh wonderful now I have to attach two arms so as far as the articulation this is the pose that this guy gets in. There's no other articulation. I feel like I'm not getting enough light on my uh, subject here, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, he is not going to get any other articulation other than how it is. This is kind of how I decided to have him. I could have had an arm forward, but uh, the way I have uh, my shelf that has all my Arkham City stuff in it... Um, I wanted to be able to get some other figures in and around him and if I had an arm up in the air or if I moved him to another shelf where the shelf headspace was a little bit lower uh, because he is a large figure um, I, I was afraid of how you know him possibly getting his arm broken off again not that I couldn't reattach it so this is kinda how I decided to have him as more of a statue um, these joints do move the uh, elbow Whoa, here, boy. It's a very heavy figure. Um, but trying to move them, you're not going to see me move them on film at all because I am would have to try and hold the shoulder in place to try and get these to move, and they are still very, very stiff. So I'm afraid I would re-break the arm back off and have to go back through and, of course, reattach the arms again I don't want to go through that whole pain I had uh, rubber bands going around his shoulders after I glued things in I had a strap up here putting as much pressure as I could to make sure I got enough glue in the ball and socket area um, his head does have articulation let's bring him up closer to the camera so you can actually see a little bit of this guy uh, his mouth has articulation which I think is so cool let me see if I can get this in here we'll zoom into his mouth A mouth only a mother love. Isn't that nasty? <laughs> uh, but still nasty and very cool. You can see inside the mouth. Uh, the head is on a nice, uh, kind of weird articu articulated head. But uh, it's killer crocs. So you can get him in some uh, weird poses. His head does go up and down a little bit. Um, this collar piece comes right off. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, the arms would move. Uh, hand does would turn here, but again, I don't want to snap um, anything back off. Um, legs move forward and back. Bends at the knee. It's really stiff, but again, with as fragile as this figure is, I'm not going to force it. And then he has foot articulation. It's kind of cool that there's real chains here, but I'm getting him in one pose, and he is staying like that turn the light back around hopefully light him up good so this is going to become more of a statue figure 
and moving back here. Um, here is the size comparison to the DC Collectibles, Arkham City, Batman, and Killer Croc, which is about how they are in the video game. I like that they made him a bigger figure. Very cool. Um, I also have the Mattel, Arkham City, Batman. Uh, the cowl on this one seems to be just a little bit taller. So if you only had this one but happened to have this Killer Croc, they obviously would work very well together. Uh, the other comparison I can do is the Play Arts Robin, which is going to be really out of scale. But you can kind of see the size that this particular Robin would have. It's almost uh, a DC UC scale or DC Superhero scale. But you can kind of see the Play Arts Robin here. It's nice just to get him on camera again. I think this is such a great figure. But I did want to thank ODC That's Me for uh, sending me this guy. Um, the reason that this figure is so fragile and so brittle, I haven't seen anybody complain about legs breaking off or anything like that, but the ball and socket up here is a clear plastic. And uh, I used to work at a company that made uh, plastic uh, piping, and one of the strongest uh, plastics that you can get is HDPE, high-density polypropylene, uh, if I remember that correctly. Um, a, a clear plastic can never get as dense as the HDPE plastic. And I don't know why you would use clear plastic. It's brittle, it's fragile, and on a figure this size, using a clear plastic joint, you're asking for it to break. That should have been a clear or clear a black plastic plug or a metal plug or something like that. Um, I was going to try and use a screw, um, make a screw point on both sides and screw that in, but I started to crack the inside of the socket, the clear socket, on Croc's left arm. So there was no way you were going to screw that back in because the plastic was starting to split even more. So as great as DC Collectibles is doing with the sculpting of their figures. Uh, they really dropped the ball on the type of plastic and joints that they used on this Killer Croc. Um, you can look up a lot of people on YouTube that have been reviewing this figure. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. If I can find the video, I will post it. But as he's reviewing the figure, he breaks, I think, the right arm off of Killer Croc on camera and kind of goes a little bit ballistic, and rightfully so. Uh, I believe this is a $60 figure. So if you're spending that much money, if you're hard-earned money on a figure and it's made shoddy, um, and I say this a lot on my channel, if you have a DC UC figure like my Superman that has a loose ab syndrome, uh, contact the manufacturers. On the back of the package, I've got my Superman box here. Uh, at least for uh, the Man of Steel, you can see, if I can find it here, there's the phone number for Mattel, and they will want uh, all of this product information right here and possibly the UPC, so I don't recommend throwing the boxes away after a while. Uh, there's some other information they may want off this package as well. Um, DC Collectibles is the same way. Yeah, They'll generally ask you how much you spent for it, where did you get it, and all that wonderful stuff. But most of the toy companies will hook you up if you have something that's broken. Just don't sit there and take it and go, well... Oh, well, I'll go out and buy another one. No, they should be hooking you up. You already bought one. So this is kind of a quick little review. He's going to look great in my Arkham City collection. He's going to be in the back row since he's so tall. And this is how he's going to be posed, at least uh, arm-wise, uh, just because I really couldn't uh, agree on how I was going to pose his arms um, that weren't going to get in the way of other figures, so now he can kind of stand behind somebody else and he doesn't have an arm uh, getting in the way. So a big thanks to ODC, that's me. Go check out his channel. He's a really cool guy. He's doing some great reviews and he's new to YouTube. So let's get his subscription count up. That's very cool. Thanks, my friend, for sending me this guy. Sorry it took me so long to review him, but he's here. He's up. He's working. Uh, both arms are glued back on and I'm very, very happy to have him in my collection with my other Arkham City figures. So, as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe signing off saying we will see you guys next time.